What's up everyone and welcome back for more Let's Play Dungeon Dust Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, I got the Iron Boots, the Serenade of Water, some blue fire. And in this episode, I'm gonna use the remaining blue fire to fall out the Zora King. So having said that, I'm gonna open the bottle, drop the blue fire, and fall him out. And by doing that, I'm gonna have a war with that dude. Oh, I've come back to life! Was it you who saved me? Don't be nervous. It looks like you have a hard time breathing underwater. As an expression of my gratitude, I grant you this tunic. With this, you won't chuck on the water. And we got the Zora tunic. This diving suit is adult size, so it won't fit a kid. Wear it, and you won't drown on the water. So by having a different suit, I'm able to breathe on the water. Which doesn't make sense. But that's okay. So if we look at our equipment, we got the Zora tunic. We missed one in between, which is the red one. And now we're blue. I'm blue. Yeah, never mind. I can't sing. So before I'm gonna go on, I need one more thing. And I'm gonna get that first. It's going back here. I think you can get it without the um, suit, but you need a lot of hearts. And uh, with a lot of hearts, I mean. Like the same amount as I have. Maybe more, maybe a little bit less, but not much less. So what you gotta do is you gotta swim to the middle. And once you're like here, turn on the iron boots. <laughs> and by doing that you will sink to the bottom. But there's one thing though, there is something on the bottom which we need. For 100% clear true of course. And it is down there. It's a heart piece, which makes a full heart container. Now got 12 hearts already, which is awesome. So, anyways, we got 12 hearts. Now we're gonna unequip the boots and float back upwards. So I scratched off the um, Zora tunic and the heart piece at the bottom of the lake. And now we're gonna start get started on one of the bigger side quests, but it will give us something really, really good and useful. So what I'm gonna do is I am um, wait a minute. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna walk to Kakarika Village. I'll fast forward that, so I'll see you guys in a moment. All right, so I'm in Kakarika Village, and what you gotta do here is talk to the Kako lady. Yeah, you remember the one where we captured seven Kakos for she gave us our first bottle. And we need her help once again. So what I'm gonna do is talk to the lady. She's like, I brought a new type of miniature Kako. I call it the Pocket Kako. I don't get goosebumps from this baby. Kakos are very good at getting lazy. Late rises out of bed. Haven't you heard of them before? No. It makes them very happy to crow, yeah, Kako, especially when it wakes up, a heavy sleeper. However, my Kako is not entirely happy right now. You, you look like you're good at handling Kakos. And what makes you think that? Here, take this egg. After the Kako hatches, bring it back to me after a while, and I'll check out its mood. What do you think? I'll try it. So I got a bucket egg and a Kako hatch from it overnight. So what I'm gonna do is get out the pocket egg and now I need to look for somebody and that somebody is if I recall right in here let me see yep you remember him it's Talon the idiotic sleeper so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the sun song Oh, wait, um... Yeah, I remember, very good, I forgot it in the last episode, or the episode in front of that. And it's night and there's a moron standing here like, what the fuck are you doing? I don't even want to know. I'm just here to hatch the egg. So I'm gonna play the sound song again. And my pocket egg was a pocket cuckoo. And now I'm gonna use that 
to wake him up again. Kind of pressing a little shot around here, not him again. Anyways, I did my job. So, what I'm gonna do now is go back to the cocker lady because I woke up a very other sleeper and that's what she said. That's what she said. Oh. And I'm gonna show her the cocker. Oh, your cocker looks pretty happy. He must have awakened an extremely lazy guy. You're a good cocker keeper. I'll give you a rare, valuable cocker if you're interested. His name is Kojiro. And it used to be my brother's cuckoo. Its blue body is quite charming. It's so cute. Since you, my brother's gone, it's strange, but Kajiro has stopped crowing. Do you want to keep him? Of course, I'll take Kajiro. And we got a blue cuckoo. A cuckoo that doesn't crow. Interesting. So, what I gotta do right now is go to the Lost Woods. So, I'll see you once I reach the Lost Woods. In a moment. Alright, I'm in the Lost Woods, and what you need to do here is go to the left, and there is a man sitting there, and he looks really sad, so I'm gonna give him the cuckoo, and what the fuck is he doing? Is he spastic? Kojiro, why? Normally only a nice guy like me can tame you, which means you, you must be a nice guy, must be, you must be! Please, Mr. Nice Guy, please, deliver this stuff to the old hack in the potion shop in Kakariko Village. This will disappear if you take the long so you gotta hurry. And we get an odd mushroom. A fresh mushroom that they can show the spoil quickly. Take it to the Kakariko Potion Shop. Quickly! So we got three minutes to reach Kakariko's Potion Shop. Which will be quick, so I'll fast forward and I'll see you once I reach the shop. Alright, I'm at the Potion Shop and this is the old hack. And what I need to do is show the mushroom. Like that bum, he had to go into the forest. I see. Hey, give it to me now! Yeah, alright. So for no reason the fire goes out. And on again. Hmm. If you see that fool, give this to him. It's the strongest medicine I've ever produced. However, this potion will not work on a monster. And we receive an odd potion which looks like a ball in a piece of paper. They say that there is no medicine that can cure a fool. I guess that's true. Yeah, that's pretty much true, I think. So, anyways, I will see you once I reach the Lost Woods again. Darn it. Alright, so I'm back in the Lost Woods, and now I'm gonna give the medicine to this guy to get cured. Wait a minute, where did the fairy come from? Um, wow, the dude transformed into a girl. So, I'll give it to her instead, then. That guy isn't here anymore. Anybody who comes into the forest will be lost. Everybody will become Stalfos. Everybody, Stalfos. So he's not here anymore. Only his soul is left. That medicine is made of forest mushrooms. Give it back. Alright. And in exchange I get the poacher's soul. Young Pangai must have left this behind. <laughs> Are you going to be... Two? Well, I wasn't really planning to become a Stalfos. In my whole life. Anyways, perfect moment to cut it off. In the next episode, I'm going to show you what this trading quest is going to end up with. So, thanks for watching, make sure to like, comment, sub, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.